Richard, what does it mean for United Auto Sports to win the 2016 LMS LMP3 Drive and Team titles? Yeah, both titles. Um, it means a lot. It's a reward for the hard work that everybody's put in, every single member of the team. So for the team itself, it's a, it's a huge reward. Um, and, you know, the ELMS is it's such a big series, a big championship, a big title. It puts us on the map. You know, there's lots of teams competing in European Le Mans. There's only one team every year wins a title. And this is your first year in the LMS, of course. Um, from the five, first five races, we haven't done the one here in Portugal yet, your two cars are called seven podiums, three wins for the number two car, with the guys with you, and one pole position. Did you expect to be so, com to, to be so competitive from the start this season? Um, we, we hoped to be very competitive. I thought we would be competitive, but, uh, you know, that record is, is beyond what I expected to... It had been disrespectful to the other teams to think that we were going to go in and what looks like we dominated. I mean, you know, we've certainly from our results, it looks like we dominated. It's been pretty tight from where we've been sat. I think all of us would agree. And we to come out like that, it, yeah, it's amazing. Mike, has winning a European title sunk in yet? Yeah, it has. Um, it's nice. It's a, it's a nice feeling to have, have secured it early on. Um, <clears throat> for me to win the European Championship and be part of the team that won it, uh, it it's, it's, it's quite a, an accomplishment, and especially since I won the American one once, right? So, and, and now winning the European, it just feels like, okay, I've done it in two continents, it feels good, and, and also I'm the first American to have ever won an ELMS Championship. So that's, that's been quite, quite, quite good. I know there's a lot this year, but what's your standout moment for the 2016 season for you? I was one, thinking about that earlier, and, and I, I honestly I have to say it was our first win, you know, at Silverstone. Um, that was like when it's like, wow, we did it, okay? I mean, since then it's been, okay, we can do it, so let's just do it again. But that was when we didn't know what to expect. I mean, we, we, we thought we would do well, we expected to do well, we wanted to do well, but we did do well. And that's when it's like, that's, that's really when it's uh, a good feeling. What for you as a gentleman driver has been the main plus point for the LMP3 class? Uh, I think LMP3 is, is, is just hit a good sweet spot. It's very popular. It's getting more popular around the world. Um, I came from a series which was basically, this is to replace it, race PC in the States for a number of years. And this is the replacement to the PC category. Uh, and I think it's a, they've done a great job. It's, it's, it's a sweet spot in, in performance, price, perf uh, uh, competitiveness and and here in the ELMS I think it's the, the highest level of competition in this class so um, I, I think they hit it spot on. Well congratulations. Christian you've been away from racing for a while as we discussed <clears throat> at the beginning of the year and now you've returned with a bang by winning this title in, the mo in probably the largest and most competitive sports car class anywhere in the world. Uh, what's been the secret of your success this year? Um, I don't think it's the secret to my success I think it's the secret to, to all the team's success. Um, it's, uh, a lot of dedication, a lot of hard work. We've, we've, uh, you know, we've done everything right this year. Um, but it's certainly been an amazing year. I mean, thinking about it now, trundling down the pit lane at Silverstone on uh, for my first stint, thinking, what the hell am I doing? Um, to now winning a championship, as you say, like this is just, it's just unbelievable. And, you, and your, what are your thoughts on sports cars? I love it. Yeah. I love it. Obviously, it's not been on my radar before. I've never done it before from, from single seaters. Um, I've enjoyed the year immensely, um, learnt new things, learning to compromise on car setup and, and one thing or another and uh, yeah, I want to be back. Alex, as I say, how does this rank alongside your other achievements as a race driver? Obviously you come here from Fuji after winning there, um, what's, how does it rank? I think some, day, some days when the result doesn't come, you actually generate your biggest kind of achievement behind the wheel, so it's not always the end result that you know, really makes you makes an achievement behind the wheel of a race car. But I think this has been one of the most rewarding experiences um, that I've ever had behind the wheel of a race car. The group have worked so well together. Uh, it, it's been harmonious. Uh, it's been effective. And you know, when when you're a driver for a team, if if racing's an art, my contribution is similar to a paintbrush. I'm just an applicator for the hard work of the. Uh, engineering team and the hard work of the the team on the pit wall and, and in the garage. So, uh, you know, to them a massive thanks, and uh, it's been a, it's been a really rewarding experience.
Uh, this is for all three drivers, but I'll uh, ask, ask you, Alex. But uh, now you've won the title, are you going to approach this weekend in Portugal any differently from the other five races? I think no. Uh, essentially, as a, from a pro's perspective, it doesn't really matter if you get in the car 27 laps down, you know, with 10 minutes to go, <laughs> you still go out of the pit lane flat out, don't leave any meters on the on the pit lane speed limiter button and go diving straight into the apex of, uh, of turn one because at the end of the day you never know when it's going to be important to perform um, and from, from my point of view it's important to perform all of the time um, especially with uh, the off season coming up so uh, I'm going to be flat out. Mike? Um. A little more relaxed. Basically, we don't have a, a monkey on our back that we have to worry about the championship, so that's locked. But with that said, I'm I'm going to go, go flat out, like you said. I mean, we're we're not going to take any prisoners. I mean, we want to win this this race, and um, we've tested here, so this is just another race, as far as I'm concerned. Let's go. Let's go take it. Christian, mm -hmm. as Mike said, I think we just approach it the same as we've done all year. We want to we want to go out <clears throat> this year with a bang and uh, win the race and. Uh, one of the trophy in the trophy cabinet. Last question for the boss. As well as winning the t titles, which is a, a nice thing to do, um, you've also won an invitation to race the 2017 24 Hours of Le Mans. Is this something, but in LMP2, is this something that the team figures in the team's plans for next year? Yes. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> the short answer. <laughs> yes, obviously. Yeah. I mean, you know, who, who would try to even contemplate turning that down? How we do it, yeah, it's early. It's, we're a few weeks away from having that invitation, but absolutely. I hope to see you there. We will see you there.